Hi everybody, this is our first video field journal for our expedition this year. Before I get you guys briefed on what we've been up to, I'd love to introduce our team. So I've got Daniel Zurich here, Nathan Morehouse, Patrick Butler, and I'm Sebastian Echeverry. So we just got back from our third day of collecting jumping spiders in the field. Our first two days were at this site in Queen Creek, Arizona that borders a peach orchard and it's a uh, fallow field where we found a lot of our main study species Habernatus pyrethrix. The weather this year has been a lot wetter than we had anticipated so there's a huge population density of these animals which is really great for us. Um, we've been looking for them in this short grassland which involves just walking around looking at the ground and diving down once we found a spider and trying to collect them in our vials. In addition to catching animals, uh, we've been taking measurements of their habitat. So we've been collecting videos uh, from spider eye level to see what their visual environment is like, as well as taking spectral data to measure um, the light that they uh, encounter uh, throughout the day. We've also been taking substrate samples for a collaborator, uh, Damien Elias, to, to measure the uh, vibrational properties of these things that the animals are found in. On our second day, we had more time to film as we collected almost all our animals on the first day. It was a really high density site. And we managed to get a lot of great footage of these guys. Habernatus pyrethrix is found on this flat ground, as I mentioned before. Uh, but to us it's a flat ground, but to them it's really this big 3D forest where uh, these towering grass stalks cast these huge dynamic shadows on the ground and the animals are climbing over them in all directions and jumping from blade to blade. We found both adults and juveniles in this area and they interact in a lot of ways that we uh, caught on film, such as prey. Today we drove northeast of Phoenix and went to this place called Sycamore Creek in the Round Valley. And there we looked around in a completely different habitat for jumping spiders. Unfortunately we only found a few but it was still a really beautiful and diverse site in terms of other wildlife. Tomorrow we'll be heading down to Yuma to hit a bunch more sites where we know we can find a lot of really beautiful, interesting jumping spiders. Thanks for listening to us, and we'll catch you on the next video.